Hey, what's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I want to bring you a quick video, just real quick talking about Infinite Warfare and the state of the movement system. Now, I know in my last video I talked about how the fact that I didn't know if there was going to be uh, double jumping or, you know, exosuits or whatever, uh, but, you know, after further review, after I already made the video and everything and seeing other people's videos, uh, I did notice that there is a, a soldier double jumping in the, uh, in the, in the reveal trailer, um, you know, in the bottom left corner at like 50 59 seconds or like a minute and 59 seconds something like that um but it, it, he does absolutely double jump you can see the thruster the fire coming out of his backpack things like that so it's for sure in campaign mode uh but today i was actually looking on gamestop and looking at the the uh the product description for call of duty infinite warfare because if you didn't know you can actually go and pre-order it now um there's there's um cod point bonuses if you do purchase it in uh, and you get it in black ops 3 things like that but i just want to read you the the uh game overview and description that is in the official gamestop on their official website for this game now again i'm going to be looking at the screen and reading this so i'm not going to be looking at you guys but just bear with me if you want to check this out the link will be in the description below again it's just gamestop's website so the first thing I noticed was it says, quote, the player will embark on a classic war story about a grand scale warfare, all set in a grounded future where human conflict has spread throughout our solar system. So that sentence right there says a grounded future. They clearly say that we are on the ground. Um, humans still remain on the ground. There's not going to be uh, zero gravity or anything like that, at least not for, you know, the majority of the game. Uh, and then, unfortunately, it further goes on to say multiplayer action combines Call of Duty's popular chain-based movement system with groundbreaking gameplay innovations to deliver the deepest and most engaging Call of Duty experience to date. Uh, if you guys don't know what the chain-based movement system is, that is the movement system of Black Ops 3. That's the exact same wording they used when Black Ops 3 was released. You can even check the Black Ops 3 uh, description on GameStop. It's the same thing. So they're using the chain-based movement system from Black Ops 3. Um, it, it, that's basically what this is and chain base doesn't necessarily mean double jumping things like that all that means is uh, that you can go from the ground to wall running to vaulting really really fluidly really smoothly kind of like a chain you know it, it's all one quick movement one smooth movement uh, and things like that although I do believe that there will be double jumping because of that however there is one last thing and this is the most important thing that I've read on this site and it says this is a literal quote it's grand scale war and hallmark boots on the ground call of duty action with memorable characters rich emotional arcs and stunning new environments all within a an epic new setting so this description literally says it's grand scale war and hallmark boots on the ground call of duty action it literally says this is boots on the ground so that's no mistake they definitely picked that phrase because of you know uh the way that the community has been saying we want boots on the ground we want boots on the ground so they obviously put boots on the ground that phrase in the official description on purpose now them saying that this takes the chain based movement system uh in one sentence and then saying that it is a boots on the ground experience in a second second sentence seems very contradictory to me i don't know what to think but it does say literally right here that this is a boots on the ground call of duty that's what it says hallmark boots on the ground call of duty action that's it's confirming that there are, it is boots on the ground so i don't know what they mean by that i mean technically in black ops 3 your boots are on the ground like for most of the most of the time so i guess maybe that could maybe they're just doing using you know boots on the ground as a technicality saying well yeah you're not going to be flying your boots will be on the ground you can jump and double jump but they'll be on the ground most of the time i don't know if that's what they're thinking uh, or what but you know it does say that it is boots on the ground and it also says there will be the chain based movement system so i don't know if maybe if maybe it's boots on the ground and they alter the chain based movement system to maybe enable you to um, maybe only double jump when there's a, a large gap in the floor or if there's uh you know i don't know i'm not sure how it's gonna work um this seems very contradictory to me but again it does say right here grand scale war and hallmark boots on the ground call of duty action so it's saying it's boots on the ground i don't know what they mean by that i don't know if they have the same definition of boots on the ground as we do all i know is 
Call of Duty Ghosts was boots on the ground. Black Ops 2 was boots on the ground. Uh, you know, Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3, all those games, boots on the ground. Advanced Warfare, not boots on the ground. Black Ops 3, not boots on the ground. So if you're saying that this movement system is going to be like Black Ops 3's movement system, this game will not be boots on the ground. So somewhere in this in this description, they're, they're lying, basically. Uh, unless they, again, like I said, unless they're just taking the Black Ops 3 movement system and tweaking it in their own way to remove the double jump. Who knows? Obviously, the campaign will have double jumping. Um, you know it showed it in the trailer so i do imagine maybe it's only that one mission we don't know there's not enough information out there to confirm it um but the other thing i wanted to talk about in this video is if you go to the actual reveal trailer and you look on youtube the official reveal trailer for the english version the likes and dislikes are are like right at the same level it has like 100 at the time of recording this has 135,000 likes and 134,000 dislikes or something like that so it has an incredible backlash the community is is split 50 50 i wouldn't be surprised if activision purchased likes for this video uh i don't i don't know man it's it's crazy how much backlash they're getting uh and it's kind of sad to be honest with you because they obviously are trying to you know reveal an epic game and they're immediately hit a brick wall with people saying no this is not what we wanted this is not what we want how are you not hearing us and, and you know it's it's sad because it's like they obviously tried really hard to make this game and they're trying to please everybody especially by including you know the remastered modern warfare um and they're obviously hit with all this negativity immediately because people think that there's double jumping in the game um and there's all this you know new movement that everybody hates so much and people are just hating them right now because they can't believe like how are you so dumb that you would do something like this when for months months even over a year people have been saying we're sick of boots on the ground you know before before Black Ops 3 even came out, people were saying we don't want uh, we don't want movement. We want boots on the ground. They keep saying it, and then they have all this time to make a new game to make it how we want and how we're asking, and they just don't do it. So they are being bombarded with backlash, and it's kind of insane. I think they deserve it to be honest. Hopefully, they can figure out the movement system hopefully it comes out and the movement system isn't bad um and like i said we can try and be optimistic because it does say it's boost on the ground so who knows um but that's just my opinion my quick quick opinion discussion video let me know what you think in the comment section below how do you think advanced warfare or not advanced war infinite warfare how do you think it looks how do you think it's gonna be do you think it's gonna be boots on the ground like i said it says it will be so who knows um you can check the link in the description below to see the uh the, the gamestop article thing that i'm looking at here you just got to go to the description and click more and view the more information um and that's about it guys so make sure you leave a like or dislike it doesn't matter to me just make sure you leave a rating before you click off the video subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you've never seen one of my videos make sure to do that uh and that's about it guys so thanks for watching on the arc out peace also, I've been posting tons and tons of things, little thoughts and ideas that I've had about Infinite Warfare just as they come to me on my Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you go in the description below and follow me on Twitter and uh, keep in touch there. I also do different polls and things like that to get uh, feedback from my fans. So if you guys want to participate in those polls and see the my day-to-day -day thoughts, you know, uh, because I obviously update there on there multiple times a day and on YouTube I only update two to three times a week. So, you know, if you guys are interested in that go check out my twitter again and then the link in the description below shameless plug is over i'm out bye